In Firefox Developer Edition 44, developers get a brand new tool for analyzing memory usage on their web page. High memory usage may cause pages to act sluggish, and you may be surprised by what is taking up so much memory on web pages. To use the memory tools, open the toolbox by clicking here or with Control shift i Then, go to the Toolbox options and enable the memory tools. You'll notice the Memory tab appear. In the tool, we can take a snapshot of our memory heap by clicking the Take Snapshot button, or the camera icon in the upper left corner. A snapshot is a saved state of everything stored in memory at the point of time that the snapshot was taken, and the memory tool lets us view the snapshot in a few different ways. We can view the heap's contents grouped in broad categories in our course type view. Here, we can see the objects in memory grouped into strings, scripts like our JIDIT code, and objects, like our objects and functions created in code. In the total bytes column, you see that objects are the heaviest, with functions taking up most of the heap. There are other ways to group your snapshot objects as well, like by object class, which is similar to course type without the detailed information on strings, scripts, or other data types, and also internal type, which groups by spider monkey type names, which are designed more for engine hackers. I'll get to the allocation stacks later. We can also flatten this view a bit by inverting our tree. Here, we can get all of the object types in a flatter view so we can compare the strings, objects, and script types from before in the same level. For my use on CNN.com, GSS script is the heaviest. There are a few types listed here that are more for spider monkey hackers like GS shape and GS lazy script, but don't worry about those for now. To contextualize these objects in our heap a bit, we can group by where in our code the objects were allocated. Let's view by allocation stack. Notice we get a warning saying we should record allocation stacks since there is an overhead cost to recording the stacks of each allocation. This doesn't apply retroactively to objects we created before we enabled this, so let's refresh the page and take a new snapshot. Here we can see a tree of our objects that are stored in the heap at the time the snapshot was taken, organized in a call tree similar to the profiling tools. This shows us how many bytes of memory are taken up by objects allocated at different points in our own code. We can again invert our tree to sort by actual lines rather than view it in a call tree form. Now, given that most of the memory footprint of this page is taken up by scripts, even though it's supposedly a static website containing just pictures and text, I suspect that the bulk of the memory is actually used up by third-party tracking scripts. To verify that, I will open a new private browsing window. By default, this enables tracking protection, a new Firefox feature that disables all the code responsible for tracking you on the web. Now remember on CNN.com, the weight of our snapshot was approximately 40 megabytes. Now with tracking protection on, let's take a new snapshot. Surprise, surprise, the footprint is now only 10 megabytes, four times less than before. My suspicions were correct. Disabling third-party tracking strips with tracking protection can save you a lot of memory. Thanks for watching.